Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, lower body mobility training. I'm gonna be talking you through, guiding you through um, stretches and exercises for the lower body in this one that are gonna help increase your range of motion, increase your flexibility, just overall get relaxation into the lower body. So we're gonna be focusing on the hips, the knees, the ankles, the feet, and of course muscles like the hamstrings and the quads. So um, take off your shoes because we're gonna do this either on socks or barefoot. Um, I have some water nearby. So make sure to grab that if, uh, if you want to. Um, and we're going to start seated. Um, so let's get on to the, uh, onto the, onto the butt. <laughs> Um, we're going to be working through, uh, like I said, the lower body um, and we want to try to get relaxation in the body as well um, because this will help you, of course, mentally, but it will help you to um, get used to the poses and kind of work with your body instead of against. Um, so let's get those nice recovery benefits uh, together by just keeping the breath nice and deep and everything. I will remind you of that um, during the movements. I'm going to be holding some poses a little bit longer than other ones, really feeling into the body. And of course, some more active exercises as well. All right. So we're going to start with the legs out in front. Um, and let's uh, support ourselves with the hands here or the lower arms if you like. And we're just going to start taking some turns of the ankles here. Okay. It doesn't matter which direction, just keep following one. And let's try to move just from the feet and the ankles here. We're going to kind of work our way up. If this is cracking, that's fine. <laughs> Feet that carry and support us all day. And of course, if uh, this is for boxing purposes, you're switching constantly between feet. All right, so let's make the turns even bigger, same direction. If this is starting to cramp, you might want to consider following this video a little bit more often. <laughs> Pushing the toes away and then all the way to the face and relax. All right, let's do the other side. Big turns, keeping the legs as still as possible. So just moving through the feet. Usually the knees tend to want to get involved, especially if you have tight feet. Maybe you're holding the breath a little bit. So make sure that is nice and big. Let's make them even bigger. Moving through those ankles, toes go towards the face and away, last big one. This might feel very intense, that's normal. And relax, loosening them up side to side. Especially if you've been standing or walking a lot today. This might feel a little bit intense. All right, we're gonna loosen the hips up in the same way. So I like to get down on my um, underarms for this. We're gonna start with some hip circles, the exact same way we just did with the ankle. I'm gonna pull my right leg all the way in, knee goes to the face, and then let's open it up to the side, trying to get a 90 degree angle, stretching the leg out in front again, taking a rest. This might feel a bit cracky inside or little tight, just try to move through it like a dance instead of a workout. So let's pull the knee all the way into the face, opening up the knee half circle and stretching it back down. Take a break. I'm going to do five more on this side. So what we're really doing is kind of moving through the hips, but just noticing how the hip feels when you move through it this way, okay? Kind of uh, feeling into the body at the start of this session. Let's go for five more. All the way in, try to make it as big as possible. So reaching up and out with the knee, remembering to breathe, stretching out and down. Let's go again. Knee all the way 
towards you, opening up, breathing. Big stretch and back. Taking that pause every time because it's not meant to be an ab exercise. It's not meant to be a strength exercise. It's really meant to just feel into the joint. So let's pull it up again. Rotating it out to the side. Same way you would do with an ankle or a neck. Stretching it out. We're going for two more. All the way into the face. If you're sinking down into the neck a little bit, that's fine. If it doesn't hurt, stretching it out in front. And a last one, really big. In, opening, really lubricating those joints. And stretch. Oh, if you want to give your shoulders a break, you can lay down a little bit. Right, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the left. Um, and like I said, just move through this quite consciously, see how it feels in your body today. If your neck or shoulders start feeling annoying, you can do this from laying down on your back, okay? I just like to watch my knee as I move it. So pulling the knee in all the way, bending the knee maximally here, opening up through the side. Maybe cracking a little bit deep in that hip, stretching it out. So maybe you notice this side feels different. That's fine, it can feel easier or tighter. That's, uh, that's no problem. Just moving maximally here, pull it up all the way, bending that knee, opening up through the side half circle. So just noticing what happens when you move through your body in this way. Let's go for five more. All the way up, breathing. Hips are the center of the body. Make sure to open that knee out nice and wide and stretch it back down. And again, knee goes up. Hips are the center of the body, so you can hold a lot of tension there. Maybe they carry weight from standing or sitting or working out a lot. Let's go for three more, all the way up, opening. So this can be a sensitive area for many. That's okay, we're just gently going through it. Last one. Keep the breath, bending the knee, all the way out. All right, nice. So just tapping. The legs out here, this might have been quite intense. We're gonna go back to seating, just seated. And let's move the feet towards each other. So let's get the feet to touching, maybe shaking out the knees a little bit here. <sighs> Hips can be such a sensitive spot, like I said, just holding tension and maybe the lower back. Maybe the lower back is sensitive and that can manifest in the hips as well. All right, let's bring the hips to uh, stand still. Uh, maybe moving them in slightly closer and rocking the butt away. We're going for a small forward fold here, just to get into the thighs very gently. So what we're gonna do here is just keeping the hands maybe on the knees or the ankles and just relaxing the upper body, okay? It might feel weird to relax the upper body when we're working with the lower body, but of course, everything is connected. And this avoids the kind of pulling onto your legs or the uh, extreme movements. So letting the head hang heavy here, really feeling those inner thighs. Let's try to actively push the knees away and down with the elbows, all right? So if this feels too intense, just roll back up a little bit, maybe move the feet forward, kind of find what works for you here. Getting a little active push with the elbows out, letting the head hang heavy. Let's take a couple of breaths here. Great one for your lower back as well, of course. But like I said, lower back and hips are closely connected. Feeling into the thighs. 
Let's take two big breaths here. Neck and shoulders are not working at all here. You can play with how much you push the knees down. Last breath. Okay, rolling back up slowly. Let's get the feet out flat onto the mat here. I'm putting the hands behind us. You want to make sure you're sitting up nice and tall here. Okay, give yourself nice space. Feet are wide. We're gonna start very simple. We're gonna just twist from the upper body and the hips here. So you can really move over the glutes here, opening up the hips. Of course, breathing. Really loosening up the lower body in this training. Getting that active recovery we need. So just noticing how the hips feel today, how the knees feel and the ankles. If you start sliding all the way back, just make sure you're still sitting up nice and proud. All right, if this is enough for you today, just keep, keep going with these uh, kind of massaging side to sides. If you want more, you can stay still in the middle. Let's try to move just from the knees this time. So keeping the belly button pointed to the front, we're kind of playing with this uh, training exercise here for the hips. So let's let the knees drop to the side, keeping the belly button forward. All right, just nice and proud. Noticing what this is doing in your right hip. Breathing, we're gonna hold it for a few seconds. Here you can really feel we're working with the joint. This doesn't feel like a muscle pain, right? This feels like a joint that is maximally using its range of, mo range of motion. Moving the knees back through center. <laughs> Making sure we're still sitting up straight if your wrists need a break. So just taking some twists. Hands go back down. Let's go to the other side. Belly button stays forward. We're gonna drop the knees to the other side and then twisting the shoulders back to neutral if you feel like they're turning in to help you. So you can really notice the connection here between your hips and your spine, right? Your belly button wants to turn with you. Body is always trying to help you make your movements which is a good thing, of course. Maybe your inner leg isn't touching the floor. That's fine. If you're up here, that's all good. Just breathe and give your hip the chance to open up and relax. Big breath here. All the way back. All right, let's release the hands. If you've been doing the, the first option this whole time, that's perfectly fine. You're really working the, the hips and the lower back anyways. Maybe you want to try move them individually from each other. We're going to sit up straight all the way. We're just going to let the knees drop to one side and you can turn with the upper body this time as well towards the front knee. Let's see if you can get the legs in a 90 degree angle here. If that feels okay to you, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna slightly lower onto the front leg here. So I like to just hold my front foot and put some slight pressure onto the front knee and just kind of bend forward. You're gonna feel a stretch in your front leg, maybe the glute or the lower back. It's okay if your um, glute uh, releases a little bit from the mat. So just taking a few breaths here. Great one to open up the side of the leg. Kind of a variation of the pose where you stretch out the back leg. This might be a little bit more comfortable for you, focusing on that front leg, using the hand to gently push the knee down to the mat. Okay, let's move the body back to center and all the way through to the other side. So you might want to wiggle a little bit to get into this. 
Leg is straight at the back and at the front, if that feels okay. Turning the belly button towards the front knee and then the hand, same position, one on the ankle, one on the knee. And just lowering very slightly onto the leg. You can lower all the way down if that feels okay. I'm just gonna hold it up here because I'm already feeling the side of my hip and my glute working. I'm just gonna go back to my breath. Using the breath to relax the joints and the muscles. Staying here for a little while. For some people it's, I always say this in my face-to-face uh, -face classes, but for some, time, for some people it's easier to uh, work out than to uh, recover and relax into the body. Just try to focus on that front leg if you feel like you're getting impatient. <laughs> Last breath. Breathing out. Coming up all the way, all right? Moving it back to center. Stretching the legs out in front and just tapping them loose. All right, we're gonna go up to standing from here. So let's uh, get our standing position going. We're going for a hamstring movement here, okay? So you're gonna put the feet nice and comfortable under the shoulders and under the hips. Maybe you wanna bend and stretch a little bit after what we just did. <laughs> Feeling nice and loose. Okay, we're going to move the hips back. Okay, and just let our upper body hang heavy here. We're going for a hamstring feeling here. So maybe you want to grab your shins or your ankles. Maybe you reach the floor with your fingertips or your hands. That's fine. Whatever you do, don't make this about how far you can reach down. Make this about how much you can relax your upper body and feel that stretch at the back of your legs. Okay, I'm feeling some calf stretch here. I'm feeling nice, deep hamstring stretch. I'm just hanging here for a few breaths. Focusing on really lengthening those legs at the back. Hamstrings can be a very tight spot for many people. So just give yourself the chance to feel into them here. Big breath. Relaxing the neck and shoulders, really focusing on that lower body sensation. We're going to be working more into the ankle and the, the knee and the hip in a second. Last breath. Just taking this time to feel into the hamstrings. Okay your hands down in front of you just walk the feet back a little bit maybe the heels come off the floor that's fine spreading those fingers to protect the wrists and let's see if you can point your tailbone up to the ceiling lengthening those hamstrings again if your heels don't touch the floor that's completely fine you could walk the head the feet a little bit more towards the hands let's get some length in the arms here as well head goes between the shoulders we're going to take a big step with the right foot in between the hands, okay? Back knee drops down, foot relaxes up the back foot, of the back leg. <laughs> okay, so we're in this nice lunge now. You want to make sure that your foot is under your knee or slightly further. Because if you would put it closer, it would become more of a knee bend. But we're looking for that hip stretch here at the back. And let's put the hands onto the front leg. This way we're playing with some balance. And we're playing with the front ankle as well. So really feeling the hip flexor on the left leg here. Let's start to make some small circles with the front knee. Okay, this can be really gentle. Just kind of playing around with those hips, playing around with the front ankle. If this gets too intense, you can do it with the hands down, or you can 
move the back leg a little bit closer again. So just turning slightly, I'm really feeling this in the hips again. Some ankle movement here as well. Okay, putting the hands down between, foot is in between the hands. We're gonna stretch out the front leg. So this is gonna be great for the knee joint. We're gonna bend it and straighten it. And we're getting some hamstring and hip action as well. So breathe out, stretching the leg to the back. Maybe your hands are walking with you. <sighs> Aggressive breaths here to relax the hamstring. So this is your first option. If you're really struggling, trying to kind of balance and not reaching the floor, you could put two, you could get a book underneath each hand. We're gonna be here for a little while. So if you wanna still grab that now, that's, uh, that's totally fine. So relaxing the front foot, you can keep it flexed or just relaxed. That's fine. We're going for a nice length here at the back of the leg. And of course the knee is straightened out Let's play around with the foot here. If this is already intense enough, just focus on the breath. If you wanna play around with, uh, with the ankle with me, you can point the foot, so pushing the feet away from you. And put pulling the toes in, this is gonna really increase the stretch, so keep breathing. And you can just shift between those two in your own time, making it a little bit more dynamic for yourself. If you're following this video for the first time, this might not be available to you so if you're just in the static holding the stretch breathe <sighs> just seeing what's happening in the body right now hamstrings might be feeling tight just keep sending air towards them okay if you're moving the ankle you can keep it still we're gonna rock back and forth okay so we're gonna bend that knee again Get the upper body above the knee. Really playing with that knee joint as well here. And just stretch it out one last time to the back. If you are more flexible already, we're working with muscles here as well as joints, of course. You could lower down if you like. But it doesn't have to be a competition. <laughs> if this is enough, it's enough. Let's move to the front again. And I'm just gonna heel toe my foot out to the side of the mat, hands in the middle. All right, I'm supporting myself on my wrists here. So again, like in the upper body video, we're going to spread the fingers to protect the wrist, okay? Maybe this is already enough for you, okay? Maybe you wanna move the knee out slightly, coming onto the right side of the right foot. It's gonna increase your thigh stretch. Make sure the hips are still straight. Letting the head hang here, working into the inner thigh. If you're on the side of the ankle, of course, working the side of the ankle. Big breath. You also have the option to come down on your forearms if you're feeling ambitious. Maybe that's a goal for you. Maybe that's already doable for you. Just choose your option here. I'm gonna take two big breaths. Again, using the breath to relax in those joints. Last one. Okay, let's move the leg back in and stretch it all the way out to the back, shaking it loose. All right, if you having sensitive wrists, you can roll them around a little bit. <laughs> this one is great to open the hips, especially after a day of sitting. <laughs> Let's get the left foot in between the hands here. Again, under the knee or a little bit further away. Stretch out the back leg, relax the back foot. Feeling into the front of the right leg. 
back to the breath. It's really the only thing that's going to help de-tighten, untighten those, those joints, those muscles to get that blood flowing, <laughs> get the nice recovery. We're going to put the hands on the left knee now, coming up straight. All right, we're going to take small circles of that left knee, if that feels okay. If that makes it too painful, you don't have to do it. Just playing around here with the ankle again, with the hip. Nice focus on your own body. No one knows what it feels like to be inside your body. So it's all safe, you decide. Get the hands back down on either side. Heel toeing the leg out. And maybe this is enough. Maybe you're already feeling the left thigh and the back leg and some wrist action for you guys. Maybe you want to move the left knee out slightly. coming onto the left side of the left foot. And you're noticing the first reaction of the body is oh, holding that tightness. You wanna breathe and allow your body to get more range and more relaxation to then be able to, of course, train better and move better. Breathing, taking the option of the forearms if you like. Again, maybe that's a goal of yours. If it is a goal of yours, you can start with the outside arm. That one is pretty doable for most people. And then the left one is the difficult one. <laughs> so just keeping your own pace, big breath. Let's move the foot back in between the hands. Oof. And let's push that heel back to the front, straightening out the front leg. Now work back into that hamstring here. So again, you want to be on that heel. If you're wobbly with the hands and you don't touch the floor yet or your leg doesn't straighten, no worries. Just do something that feels okay for you here. Maybe holding one hand on the back leg. Maybe you can reach the floor more if you twist in this way. That's fine. Noticing the length at the back of the leg. I'm going to hold it here again for a little while so focus on those long breaths. If you want to play around with the ankle again, lengthening the front of the ankle, pulling the toes in towards the face, creating a more dynamic movement. If you try it once and you're like, nope, not for me, that's fine. <laughs> then just keep breathing in one place. Feeling that calf, maybe feeling the kneecap, the connection between the muscles, so really those ligaments that surround the joints. We're gonna rock back and forth one time, bending into that knee, walking with the hands, feeling into that hip flexor of the right leg again. Big breath before we straighten it out one last time. This can be very sensitive or many, so just take your time. Walking it back. And straightening it out. Maybe shaking it out a little bit. <laughs> okay. Let's take a small child's pose moment here for a little while. Big toes are touching, 
knees are wide and just lengthen back, getting those, giving those hips a break. My breaths. Combining these active exercises with the more calm ones really gives that boost to your body in a safe way. Different than working out at the gym or an intense boxing class. Kind of using them in a more conscious way. Last breath. Okay, let's move up. We're gonna get onto our feet again to standing because we're going to do an Asian squat. All right, let's shake out the legs. <laughs> All right. Um, and if you know, we're going to end up uh, all the way down here in a minute. Okay. So if you know you're going to end up on the toes this way, you want to start out nice and wide. Okay. Asian squat, if you've done my classes in real life, you know this is my favorite mobility exercise for the lower body. Everything is involved. Ankles, hips, knees. So trying to relax as much as possible. We're going to do it two times, holding it each time. Okay? So let's start nice and wide with the feet and let's start bending the knees down. Supporting yourself with your hands if you need to. Okay? Maybe, maybe you're up here. That's fine. Maybe you want to use the wall. That's also fine. Then just leaning the lower back against the wall. If you want to support yourself with your hands, do so. Maybe you're already down here. You know, put the hands in prayer. That's fine. Wherever you are, big breath. And if you're like this, that's fine. Yeah, just feeling that lower body. This pose used to be as natural to us as standing, sitting, and walking. <laughs> Many countries still use it for childbirth and working. So we've kind of unlearned doing this by sitting mostly at a 90 degree angle. Breathe. This might be very intense, that's fine. You got this. Let's put the hands onto the knees and stretch up and over. Taking it out. <laughs> We're gonna go for one more. So now you've already felt into the body today. This can look really different depending on the day. So if you do wanna use the wall, just start straight against it. Feet are a little bit further and then just lowering down, you've got the wall sit position through that position, okay? You can press against the wall with the arms onto the knees. So that's your easier option, okay? But this is not an easy pose for our many. Let's lower back down through the knees, landing wherever, wherever you are, holding on with the hands. If you are more advanced with the Asian squat, you can try to play with um, pushing away the knee out. All right, so you can get more of that thigh stretch. Make sure your foot keeps touching the floor when you're doing that, so it's not leaning out. You can just switch between those. Maybe this is looking crazy to you for, from where you're at. Perfectly normal. Three more big breaths. Releasing the thighs, the lower back. You'll be really feeling those ankles now. Last breath, you can do this. And let's just roll onto the butt from here, stretching the legs out in front. Oh, maybe sighing it out. <laughs> All right, we've got 10 more minutes to go. So I'm going to put you or us into a fold here again. Um, let's put the feet out at mat width, okay? So not right in front of you, but a little bit wider. And let's move the lower back 
away from us already as much as we can. Okay. Um, if you are, if you have very tight hamstrings, you might want to fold one uh, leg into the thigh of the other. Okay, because we're going to be moving forward again with the body, holding it for a little while longer. Um, let's put the hands onto the back here, and let's start moving forward from the shoulders. Okay. So really lengthening that spine, lengthening the hamstrings, seeing where we land. Again, hands are on the back to avoid competition with ourselves, with reaching the toes, etc. You just want to focus on that hamstring feeling. Maybe you know that if you have the hands in front of you, you can reach way further. Good. Let's use the breath to relax the upper body and the hamstrings. So maybe breathing out, lowering a little bit more. Breathing in nice length in the back of the body. Once you're feeling the hamstrings here, wherever you are, of course, if you've chosen the uh, less advanced option, you're lowering towards one leg, right? Feeling into that hamstring. Once you've felt those hamstrings, you can release the hands maybe next to the body. You can go for the feet, of course, but just make sure it stays relaxed instead of pulling those legs. We're going to hang out here for our two breaths. Relaxing the neck, getting that nice length at the back of the body after the more active exercise of uh, just now. <laughs> one more strengthening exercise with some heat after this and then a last relaxing pose for you guys breathe it out filling up all right let's get onto the knees for the second to last pose and this is an exercise more than a pose okay so we're going to be focusing on the feet and ankles here um, knees and feet are in one line and we're just going to sit our weight onto the feet, bending our knees. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are really sitting on the heel and that they're not pointing out. Okay, so we're trying to go for that length at the front of your ankle. So really that like front part. If you're already feeling this a lot, and you're needing to put your hands down, for example, then just stay here, okay? Again, you can follow this video many times, so you can really progress uh, with your body that way. Um, option two is shifting the weight onto the feet. So we're landing our glutes down on the feet here, maybe feeling that stretch in the upper leg. Knees are bent at a maximum here, so you're strengthening the knees in a safe way as well. Okay, if you want more, you can put the hands down and start lifting the knees one or two centimeters off the floor. Okay, and we're really still focusing on the front of the ankle here. So pressing the feet down and then down with the knees again. I'm going to rock a few times back and forth. Again, if you're just sitting and really feeling this, you can always release by coming up. Okay. So just pick your option here, maybe putting all the weight onto the feet, maybe again with me lifting those knees as high as you can, but without it becoming very extreme, breathing and lowering again. I'm going to do this three more times. Again, if you need a release in between, just come up straight, maybe tapping the feet. Really great one for the ankles. Let's go again. Lifting those knees up, and the more you lift up, the more you come onto that front part of the foot. <sighs> Big breath, and off again. Taking that release if you need to. I'm gonna do one last one, and if this still feels easy and you've got very flexible feet, <laughs> you can try to come up onto the toes, okay? But this is enough for most. <laughs> Let's move back one last time. Okay, really lifting up here, breathing. And 
lowering back down. Let's get those hips up, tap those feet. <laughs> oh, maybe turning them a little bit here. Oof, really feeling that we've worked them, but that's fine. That's what we're here for as well. And usually this is the spot that gets tight with a lot of heels or like Air Max shoes, things like that. So we might be feeling tightness from those. Okay, let's get onto the back for our last pose already of the day. Always nice when the instructor says, get on your back. <laughs> nice and comfy. <sighs> okay. We're going to end with a happy baby today. Okay, so we're gonna move the knees all the way into the chest. Yeah, maybe taking some ankle turns if the last one was very intense for you, I can imagine. It's not an easy pose or an easy exercise. <laughs> Okay, we're going to move the knees out to the side a little bit. And we're gonna put the arms on the inside of the knees. If you know, if you know this pose and you find it very difficult, you can always grab the ankles from here. But we're trying to reach, you can lift the shoulders to reach, that's fine. The outside of the foot, right? So my arm goes through the middle on the outside head lowers again you want to try to get those feet above the knees okay really opening up through the hips great release for the lower back as well if you notice that you're up here and you can't lay down when you grab the feet please get the grab the ankle instead okay so it's really about releasing those knees out and open maybe you want to rock Left to right, massaging the spine. If you're very flexible, you could try to straighten the legs from here. You don't have to, of course. Relaxing the shoulders down on the mat. Maybe still rocking left to right or holding it. Let's take three deep breaths here, really stretching those inner thighs outer thighs. This lovely charming pose does so much for your lower body. Sending that blood through. Down, last breath. Okay, let's bend the knees down again. Stretching out the legs in front of us. Let's reach the arms up overhead. I love to finish like this. Stretching out, waking up, maybe pushing the toes away from you when you do this. Length from toe to hand. Let's relax the arms down. I'm gonna do that one more time. Nice length from head to toe. So reach the arms up overhead last time pushing those hands away and pushing those feet away as well. And release. Great job. <laughs> Let's take a nice deep breath from here. Maybe feeling sensations in the body, in the lower body, upper body. Great work. All right, let's push ourselves back up from here. Maybe stretching out the legs, tapping them. Great work in this lower body training. And this is a three part series. So come back to this video anytime to practice. Maybe some things were easy for you. Maybe some things were a bit more difficult for you. That's fine. And uh, Hope to see you in the next video and uh, wishing you a great, loose, relaxed day.